This is Thelonious C. Jones, TheloniousCJones.com. I'm the author of The Landlord Blueprint, LandlordBlueprint.com. Today I'm going to be talking about the acquisition process for this property here. We purchased in 2011 for $11,000. I want to briefly introduce myself before we get into the video. All right, like I said, I'm Thelonious C. Jones. I've been investing since 2009. I manage a portfolio of homes just like this in Atlanta, Georgia, Southwest Atlanta, Georgia. 75% of that portfolio is on the Atlanta Housing Authority Program. Uh, this house is also on the Atlanta, currently on the Atlanta Housing Authority Program. And I just want to talk about the techniques, the strategies, the tips today. It, it the, Give you tips, strategies, and techniques. Excuse me today on you know the measures you may have to take to buy properties and how to execute and get things done and um that's just what i know so i want to give you some tips let me know if this helps please leave your comments below let's get into it so um we let's go through the tax records I, I like to pull you through the tax records so you can really see what's going on so let's talk about this property right here built in 1950 998 square feet it's a two bedroom one bathroom it's an all brick property okay let's look at the tax records look eleven thousand dollars is what we purchased for this is my father um michael jones and then we deeded it over to our uh, company udi group so we purchased it for 11 grand from acquired capital who purchased it purchased it in a foreclosure a year earlier for 14 grand so they lost a little over three grand in this transaction and and, and i'm a, what i talk about in this video most likely will describe to you why they lost the three grand Okay, so that that's it. I just want to show you guys, you know, everything tax records. I'm going to show you guys this is real because I think a lot of people don't show the tax records. So I just want to show you this is for real, for real. And uh, AtLab Management is a company I manage with, an with another partner now. So it's we still own and manage that property. So that's it. Let's look at it. When we inquired it, when we first went to go look at it, this is the condition. The back door was open unlocked and as you can see they took some of the electrical out punched some holes in the wall appliances are missing and uh, the house i believe it was listed for about seventeen thousand dollars when we looked at it because of, of course you saw they purchased it for a little more like about 14 grand so we looked at it we uh, uh our, our agent attempted to contact the listing agent multiple times no response at all I think I even called them one or two times. No response at all whatsoever. Um, so I'm just like, dude, what's going on? We want to buy the house. So knowing me, like I just showed you, I just simply went here, came to the tax records and, and said, okay, Acquired Capital owns that property. I did the research on Acquired Capital. I found out they were out of Texas. So I just called them and said, hey, I need to buy your property I need to buy the property is distressed. The door is wide open. And, and I'm saying this because I'm saying indirectly. I'm trying I need to solve a problem. We you have a problem. I want to solve it. Please give me an opportunity. That, that's kind of what I'm saying indirectly. So hey, I want to buy this property. The door is wide open. Acquire capital. How can we do something? Uh, you know, I know you want to get rid of it. Obviously, your agent is not capable of answering a phone so or an email so let's get it done so they're like okay let's get it done so i said hey man i give you like 10 grand or nine grand they said no give us like 15 grand i said no nah, i give you like 11 grand and i guess they say yeah i can't remember 100 percent so they're like okay yeah 11 grand and then they're like okay we're gonna sign we just negotiated with no agent just through email so they assigned me they, assigned, they said, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to find an agent to represent us in this transaction. You could bring your agent in the transaction and let's get the deal closed. And that's what we did. We got the deal closed. Bada bing, bada boom. As you can see, we bought it for 11 grand. And then we proceeded to fix it up. 
so we could rent it out. So let me show you some photos of that process. This was the bathroom. Um, the first time we rented it out, so we got a, uh, we purchased it, and then we probably rented it out in um, 2012 uh, to a tenant that was from Minnesota or Minneapolis. Yeah, Minneapolis. So she came down, rented it for a couple years. This was it when we bought it. See, the door was wide open, um, boarded up. This is it when we bought it. The condition. So this is, I probably sent these photos to the bank. That's another thing to do. Take photos, send it to the person. Hey man, this is the condition. Let me help you out. Please. I'm begging you. Obviously, the people that are supposed to be checking on your property ain't doing your job. Let me help you. I want to help you out. Value add, you guys. Value add. Okay? So this is how I was looking. This is how the kitchen looked. We fixed the cabinets, put new countertops on, got the kid kitchen right. Bam. This was the uh, living room, dining room. Then you got two bedrooms in there. And, and we had it looking pretty decent. She was happy. Then, as you can see, we redid the bathroom, the shower. This had the old tile right here. After she moved out, we redid the tile. That's the uh, window behind the tile. And uh, we just got it looking good. So now it currently rents for $810 on the Section 8 program. We purchased it for eleven grand. Um, we put... Um, about 20 grand into the property, okay, and then um, we just been renting ever since, you know. And the first renter, I think she was renting for about 700, the high 700s, I want to say like 775, and then the second renter, we got 810 dollars. So, I just want to give you guys a breakdown of a property that we purchased. Um, and you know some of the things you got to go through to buy the property. Sometimes you got to you got to follow up with people because they don't know what's going on. They may, excuse me, they may think everything is fine, dandy, and good to go, but they have no clue what's going on with the property. So so help them out, help them solve problems. You know what I mean? And and get the job done. Provide photos, provide the information, show them you're serious. And get the job done. Do whatever it takes to get the job done so you have a reputation of helping people out and getting the job done. These are just my, some of my techniques, uh, uh, some of my strategies, some of the things I have done to acquire properties over the years. And now we have accumulated a nice rental portfolio. So please, if you have any more questions or want to know more about my techniques or my landlording techniques, check out theloniancjones.com. Theloniancjones dot com um the the link is in the description or and uh, check out my book the landlord blueprint if you're a landlord and want some more landlording strategies techniques and ways to decrease headache and save money i mean that's what it's, this business is about we want less headache more money so check out my book landlord blueprint theloniancjones.com please leave your questions please like please comment subscribe uh thumbs up thumbs down Please just do something. Let me know what you think. Love to hear from you.